Hello everyone, this is Olga Media. Here we are in San Francisco, UP Conference 2014. And one of the main person who organized and made it happen is Karet Zapienov. Right? That's how they pronounce you in Canada now? No, uh, Kazaret Zapienov. See, I was born in the same country, Kazakhstan. Yes. And I already, so many years, 20 years in America, mm -hmm. relearning Russian. Okay. <laughs> and um, for me, I'm always impressed with people coming from Kazakhstan and all of the uh, republics of Russia and Soviet Union. Because I know it's not easy being an immigrant. And here you're keeping the smartest people at your conference mm -hmm. who, despite the heaviest storm which happened in California in 16 years, rain, flood, no electricity, uh, candle lights, they will be here mm -hmm. listening to their presentation saying that's where technology going. We're making it safe. We're going to solve the problems. We make it easier and cheaper for everyone. We're going to save the electricity or energy. <laughs> I mean, uh, and, and users and uh, startups can start their own businesses with fraction of cost compared with others because of the cloud and virtualization. And what uh, all of these companies you had here at the conference were able to present already available to use right now. Mm -hmm. How did you able to get all of those people? Yeah, cloud, that, uh, cloud is uh, so compelling that um, everyone wants to, to attend and share their, their experiences, um, what they get um, you know, during the year, because it's annual conference, so it's the fifth conference already. So they, and every year we gather and share you know, the progress, the advancements in cloud computing, and despite the, the inclement weather, they were so compelled to, to see each other, to see potential customers, and end users, clients. So they, um, you know, the, they get, uh, I don't know, six or five a.m. in the morning, and uh, the, the, they put, uh, you know, from Silicon Valley to, to San Francisco. In Minnesota, in uh, upstate New York, I uh, interview quite a few from even different. Uh, uh, cities and states in America, including uh, Japan, India, Israel, and uh, I mean personally, even so I'm in technology and I interview a lot of people in technology, I can make a joke that those people talk about cloud so much that when clouds in the sky they don't really even bother with that, okay? <laughs> yes, I, I agree and um, you, you know it, it was quite ironic to talk about technology in candlelight, you know? <laughs> yeah, from uh, cage time when you cannot use PowerPoints and remember old days when you have to express yourself and when you come to the point where you can able to use again all the slides and all of the uh, equipment and uh, computers and iPads and phones to give a more technical presentation. So, it was quite an interesting day-to-day uh, -day for me. Yeah, so uh, uh, just to remind the, the, to, to your viewers that uh, first half of the conference we didn't have power. So basically people had to present with no electricity, in complete dark, in candlelight, and basically um, the, 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 the speakers in the, in the afternoon they were in more privileged position, you know, they, they have electricity, they have uh, projectors, they have, um, you know, the slides, so, yeah, but anyway, everyone is... I think the second part was even so easier, but not would be as memorable as for others, because I immediately put in social media pictures with candlelights and speakers, mm -hmm. uh, and everyone like, Are, is it dinner, romantic <laughs> dinner, or it's like conference? I'm like, no, it's a conference, because no matter where you are, you can still learn, despite any weather conditions. And when you come to geekies of the geeks, 
they're gonna make it happen no matter what, okay? And that's what I like about them. And as media, I support them. And as a human being, I support evolution of technology. So I'm glad to see that at your conference uh, that you have Mood of Smart and very dedicated people and companies. Yes, uh, yeah, thank you very much <laughs> for, for the recognition. Uh, yeah, we're trying our best to deliver, you know, like the latest knowledge, you know, of the, you know, of cloud computing or intersections of technology and <coughs> business to, uh, to, to people who need it. So we have best speakers, like top line speakers, so they, they, they really present to, you know, to other conferences and um, you, you really uh, find them, you know, at the other conferences, so basically it's a kind of boutique environment where they can find some uh, knowledge that will be, uh, that, that will stay current for the next uh, two, three years. By the way, actually, I received a press release kind of uh, in terms of 80,000 people were without electricity in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And even when I drove here, it was no uh, lights, mm -hmm. stop lights. So you had to pay attention how the other people drive around and really communicate well solutions to the driving that because just because you want to go to some point doesn't mean you have to not to share the roads. And um, same with technologists and engineers and companies who are here, they share their solution with others and communicating it well. And you're welcome to see all our, their interviews and their uh, presentations would be available on live, uh, not only on live stream, but would be on your website, right? Yes, um, this is uh, some resilience model. So initially we started as a just a virtual conference. So basically it's a kind of laid back mode where you don't have to uh, put too much efforts to create a conference or create an event. So it's a purely uh, electronic mode. But uh, later we just found that there is uh, some demand for face-to-face uh, -face meetings and hallway talks. So we decided to do a hybrid event. So hybrid in the sense that people can meet each other, they can discuss things, and at the same time, people who cannot come, they can view it online, so they just do some broadcast uh, through the live stream, so they can participate, they can ask questions, and we pass those questions from the internet to speakers. So the, there's two-way communication between speakers, um, the, the, the audience on site and the audience out there internet, like in Australia, South Africa, India, and everywhere in the world. So, um, yeah, it's, that's, that's uh, good. It's uh, more accessible and easier for everyone because not easy to come or to get visa to come to the conference. So, thank you for doing it and making it happen. And now, yourself, are you in uh, cloud virtualization business? Yeah, uh, well, Cloud Core is involved in some um, consulting business. Uh, specifically, we consult um, companies to uh, define this, the strategy um, for uh, cloud transformation for, for enterprises. So, basically, we help them to start from scratch the uh, transition to the cloud, you know, to different cloud um, models and benefit from it. Okay. And then uh, for our viewers and listeners, what would you wish them? Well, I, <laughs> I would wish them all the best so they uh, can sustain different um, different uh, disasters like natural disasters as we experience today so uh, I would uh, wish that they, their solutions if they're in business would be resilient to this kind of disasters and uh, you know fine lines of high availability so this, uh, yeah. well, and for those who I met today thank you very much for being resilient not only natural disaster but I know by uh, 
going through natural disaster, you would be able to continue to bring solutions to technology and the community. And some of the solutions are very good. Just stay tuned and check all the media interviews at the Cloud Core and Up conference here uh, from San Francisco. And then, of course, thank you for making it happen. I know you're coming back in June to San Francisco with yes. another conference. Yeah, it's, uh, it is called Cloud Slam, so we are planning to do it in, in summer, so either June or July uh, 2015. And that's a little bit different, too? Uh, yeah, it doesn't have this uh, this awards because we have cloud awards for cloud, uh, for up, and we don't do it on cloud slam. So cloud slam is more uh, mainstream; it's more major. So it would be, it would be the seventh event. Wow, that's pretty good. Now, and in terms of the um, up conference, I know you had here uh, award ceremony. And looks like you had companies where you had uh, voting by internet, and then also voting here, and you had combined uh, winners here, of some sort. Yeah, we have done some research on uh, basically on some needs of end users, like enterprises, and the, the challenge is that uh, there are so many uh, offerings everywhere. So it's uh, you know like 1,000 solutions, and it's hard for enterprises to understand which one is better, right. which one is the best. So and everyone is pitching like we are the best, you know, we should buy our solution and so on. So this is why we decided to create a process of um, you know, a two-stage process of picking the best one. So the the first phase is uh, online voting, so we, you know, we define the popularity <coughs> of the solution using the board account method. So basically, you can uh, pick three or five, three to five um, of your favorite solution in order of preference. Uh, this way, um, you can define the top one, not just by the majority, but um, you know the, the solution that was picked second might turn out to be the top one. Right. <laughs> and then um, you know after this phase we have an on-site phase. So um, attendees of our conference they make a decision. Um, they vote, um, cast their vote in, in favor of um, their preferred solutions. And then it would be available for everyone to see through live stream, of course, and it would be on your website. Yes, uh, through the live stream, and uh, we'll post it to the awards.outcom.com. And uh, I would say it is one of the best or most refined um, processes that I've seen on the internet because um, you don't. Uh, if someone to make a decision, it's a uh, right. community-based uh, uh, selection process. So it's called awardsup.com? Uh, Upstart Awards. Upstart Awards. Dot com. All right. And the conference information at up.com or up uh, up, up hyphen com dot com. Up hyphen com. Com dot com. Because I know it's very easy, you just look up 2014 or just up uh, and it's your conference come on the Google search first. So that's kind of nice. And um, uh, thank you for making it happen and thank you, thank you for inviting me here to meet smart guys, geeky guys and very innovative companies. And I wish the more successful uh, continuance in bringing technology to our best way of living. Hey, you're welcome and thanks for having me here. Oh thank you so much.